After a year of testing multiple men's shaving blades, the results are no surprise. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a men's shaving blade vlog slash review slash let's cut to the chase and uh, there's nothing to analyze here. It's do the blades work and are they affordable? Um, the affordable thing is what got me into this experiment about a year ago. Just to, to set the, the standard here, we don't shave every day like a lot of guys do, like uh, just when they have a little bit of stubble and they have a perfect clean shave every day. That's, uh, so this, this test here and these uh, results may not apply to you. I shave about 100 times a year, maybe 110 times a year. I shave maybe twice a week on average. Um, and for the last, God knows, many decades, I've been using the, the, whatever the latest uh, Gillette blade was, uh, the Fusion, Fusion 5, and there's so many different Fusion Power, Fusion, there's all these extra um, bells and whistles and, and price points that come along with it. And, you know, obviously there's a power version, which I, uh, I like, and I'll explain at the end of the video why the power version is good but it's not for the reason you think. Um, so about a year ago, I bought this uh, Bic Flex 5 Pivot or whatever the heck it's called. Um, I got it at like TJ Maxx at the checkout line. You know how they get you. Uh, it's five blades with a shaving, um, a trimmer attachment, which I never use, so I don't pay for. But anyway, it was like five bucks for four blades. I gave it a shot. And the first shave I had was Phenomenal. It was probably the best shave I had, had I can recall in, in the last 10 or 20 years. And I'm like, wow, I think I found a new uh, shaver. Uh, second shave was okay. I don't remember it being as good as the first, but then the third shave on this Bic Flex 5, I cut my face to pieces. I'm like, what the F? It didn't last, it was two good shaves before I had to, I wouldn't touch the blade again. And I'm, I just had two good shaves with this, uh, blade and I'm almost afraid to try it the third time after what happened uh, when I got my face uh, shredded to pieces. So that led me to be curious about all these other blades they had and some of the other brands I've tried just so you know there's the off-brand uh, five blade razors that either Walmart sells or ShopRite or any of these uh, house brands. They're all made in China. They probably tried to reverse engineer the Gillette blades and they, they were okay, but then after just a couple shaves, again, they, the first shave's always good, uh, but they go quickly downhill and, and I don't get a very good shave. It doesn't grow in as nice for some reason. You can tell the difference. It doesn't grow in as nice. Um, so I can't, I can't really use those anymore. So I figured I would try some of these L super duper cheapo. Bic makes something that has three blades that was okay, and it, it, you know, you could tell at the second shave it was no good. Um, and I even bought this Top Care, really El Cheapo uh, uh, blade, it, it disposable, completely disposable. I, I have no idea. And I, even the first shave on this one was a little bit rough, but I, I got a smooth shave. But, and again, it, your hair just doesn't grow back. Your uh, facial hair doesn't grow back as nice. So. And that's the difference between, and, and here's another one real quick. This is a Gillette uh, Mach 3 or something. It's a Gillette 3 blade, fully disposable. You use it a couple times and toss it out. Um, and this was okay. This, this shaved my face okay. But the conclusion I have really is Gillette is, is the absolute best brand you can buy. And I really don't see any difference between the, the Fusion 5, uh, Blades. There's Power, there's Lou Comfort Strip. I, I can't even remember all the brands. I'll throw some graphics up here to show you that there's so many different brands. And they have a new one now, I believe. It's relatively new. It's called the Gillette 5. It doesn't have any fancy bells and whistles. It doesn't have a trimmer on it. It's just five blades. And this thing works. What works best about the Gillette blades, and oh, and another reason I, I wanted to find blades was because the, the Gillette prices keep going up and up. They're getting to be like 40 bucks for, or 50 bucks for an eight pack at some regular stores. So and that, that's getting up there in, in, in price. But the benefit of having Gillette blades is they last a long time. I can get 
at least a month's worth of shaves out of one Gillette blade. And what's good about it is, and I usually wear, uh, buy, uh, change the blade when that Lubra strip wears out. That's sort of an indicator that it's time to change the blade. But as the blade gets you know, worn out, I don't get cut with the Gillette five blade uh, options. I never get cut. You can just tell the shave isn't as good. It takes a little longer to shave. You have to go over some spots two or three times to get a nice smooth uh, shave. But I, even if the blade is really getting old and, and really at its last legs, I never get cut with a, a Gillette blade. For some reason, the way it wears out, it doesn't get jagged edges or it, it just, you just know that the shaving is, isn't as good and it's time to replace the blade. Whereas these other ones, it's like roulette. You know, this, even though this Gillette, I'm sorry, Bic five, Flex 5 was only used twice, it ripped my face to shreds. And so the fact that I had to throw it out after two shaves in these, uh, uh, whatever, Walmart brand, and only lasts two or three shaves before, it's just a bad shave. It tells you something that your cost per shave is actually probably better on the Gillettes. And I've tried Dollar Shave Club. That just wasn't a good shave from the get-go. I don't know what the hype is. They just uh, use psychological conditioning. And I've heard from other people that like Kirkland makes a good shave, but I'm willing to, to guess that uh, after a couple shaves, it's not gonna be good. Whereas the Gillette holds its uh, stamina for a long time. So I, I don't recommend any other brands. If you're gonna be on vacation, you just wanna have a, a throwaway razor, you don't feel like losing the handle, I guess the Gillette um, three blade ones are fine. Um, or if you could find the, the Bic Flex 5 at a discount store, it is pretty cheap. Uh, and it has a nice handle. And that's one last thing that I guess differentiates a lot of these shavers for most people is the, is the handle. You want a good balance because, you know, having a good balance tool is, is, plays a role in how good you shave. If you have a rickety, flimsy thing, you may end up not holding it right and you can cut yourself just because you don't have a good grip on the razor. So that's it. I, I'm sticking with Gillette. Um, I may have to buy in bulk or, or find a discount sale or coupons or, um, you know, on Amazon they have these and I think they might be knockoffs, but the, they're hard to tell that they're knockoffs. You can often get them in plain brown packaging and, and, they're, and they're pretty good. I usually have to buy, um, you know, I think it came out to about eight razors a year. So that's a little more than a month I get per blade. But that's it. Gillette is our winner uh, still, and until something changes, uh, we're not we're not going to futz around with these uh, cheaper versions of shavers. You want to, like I said, when I bring one on vacation, throw it out. You know, I, I really still like the first shave on this Bic. I have two new blades left, and if you ever want a nice shave, it's great, the first one. But that's it. Thanks, and have a good week.